Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. We are here. Episode 75 of 413 Sports Talk. Um, today happens to be June 7, 2021. Sorry for, for that, guys. Missed up the date. Um, or didn't include the date. Um, yeah. So, if you're watching, this is episode 75. And I thank you from the bottom of my heart for your continued support. And if you're watching the show and if you haven't stopped, if, you're, uh, if you started at the beginning and you're still a fan, um, or if today's your first time watching um, Raheem Escalai, and um, I thank you from the bottom of my heart for um, supporting the show. Um, today, what I have for you are um, some scores and review from the NBA, um, some scores and review from the NHL, as you know, both those sports um, have postseasons. And also I have scores from the Major League Baseball, I also got some scores in review from NCAA Baseball, which has um, become a hot ticket of late. So I got all that to discuss. Um, first and foremost, I want to talk about um, the Jake Paul and uh, um, the Mayweather fight last night. Um, it seemed to me that... that um, that 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 Mr. Paul came with his came with his shit, man. He knew he knew what he wanted to do. Um, there wasn't a victory, but he he fought through. Um, he fought very well, and I saw uh, a Mayweather quote that, um, that that this guy is for real. He's um, not just a, not just a YouTuber. Don't don't sit there and sleep on him. Um, Mr. Paul is real, um, and that came from Floyd Mayweather, the god himself, the boxing god himself. So, I don't know what's gonna happen going forward. I'd love to see, I'd love to see a um, a Jake uh, a Jake Paul um, Pacquiao match or something like. Just I really want him to go against somebody who's gonna like beat the shit out of him. Maybe um and bring him back to earth or something like that. So there was obviously it was just a friendly fight. Um, no winner, no loser. Um, but if you ask me, um, uh, Jake Paul kind of like took the show. Um, and I guess, hmm, without anyone getting knocked out, I guess you could say G. Um, yeah, I just hope it's not Logan that we're talking about. You know what I mean? Whatever. I always get the two mixed up. You know, who gives a fuck? But, um, yes. So it was a great fight. Um, I paid attention to it for three rounds. First three rounds, you know, it was, it was hype. Um, not sure who else watched it. A lot of people watched it to begin with, but um, it was a fight. Um, I am not sure what Mr. Paul is going to do going forward as far as who his next um, next opponent will be, but as soon as 413 Sports Talk knows, we will bring it right to you. Anyway, enough of me running my mouth about some, some boxing fight. Let's get right into the, the meat of this episode. This is the 75th episode. Three quarters, 25 away from 100. 100th episode is going to be huge. Um, anyway, NBA Clippers beat the Dallas Mavericks 126-111. Uh, therefore, this was game seven, so the Clippers have moved on. Um, I'm going to say I didn't expect it. I thought Paul George was going to play like he normally does, five or ten points a game. Um, but Paul George had, um, except for last night, you know what I mean, he had, had three triple-doubles, three straight triple-doubles. Um, so... Paul George silenced everything I was saying, all my criticism about him, and um, he he balled out, and he balled out every single game of the season, and so did Kawhi Leonard, scored 45 the other night. Um, last night, 28 points, 10, um, 10 assists, and 9 boards was good enough good enough for a victory for those Clippers. Paul George had, um, came through with 20, um, another 10 assists, and um, 8 more boards. So that was enough to put away those Mavericks. Um, Dallas is back to the drawing board. Um, I think I think another piece needs to needs to be had down there in Dallas. Somebody better than Finney Smith. And um, not sure why Curry was let go, but uh, that happened. So I think you need to kind of I think you need to put somebody else there uh, for Luca to play with. Um, Porzingis is not enough either. Um, maybe Porzingis when he was with the Knicks. Um, 
maybe if you get that Chris that that kind of Chris Stapps, um, maybe maybe that's that that um that that will that's what makes the difference um, as far as the Mavericks are concerned. But uh, this year it didn't happen. So congratulations to the Clippers for advancing. Moving on to the second game, this is a second round series. The Atlanta Hawks beat the Philadelphia 76ers 128-124. What a great high-scoring game. Atlanta leads the series 1-0. Trey Young with 35 points and 10 boards. Collins had 21 points. Bogdanovich had a huge double-double. Um, these Atlanta Hawks were balling. These Atlanta Hawks, um, all year even, even in the regular season, I kind of I kind of didn't really look towards their way. I didn't really um, pay them much attention. But at the end of the year, they started to beat the quality team that I didn't think they could beat. They, the Golden States, uh, my Lakers, um, the Milwaukee Bucks. Um, they also had a victory over the, uh, the Golden State. Um, I'm sorry, I already mentioned Golden State. The uh, Brooklyn Nets. So they were a quality team that I overlooked this season. Um, they won 128-124. And um, I, look, I look for Philly to get to win at least two games in the series. In the series. Um, there's no way B goes for 39. And almost a double-double last night. And um, the Sixers lose. I don't think that they... I don't think that they'll play another game like this. Uh, another losing game. Well, they're going to get two more wins. Um, what And what I say is I don't think the losses are going to be close. I think Atlanta opens up a can of whoop-ass on them, actually, later on in the series. Uh, potentially to close it out. But this was a great, a great, good, a great... Um, Game one win for them, and um, we'll see what those Atlanta Hawks do going forward. Um, I'm, I'm like I said, I'm really excited about playoff basketball. Not excited my Lakers got knocked off, but fuck it, I got the um, I got the Tigers, the S Y F Tigers to root for. My boy Waddy Jenkins and his um and his boys really doing it lately. Shout out to the S Y F Tigers, great coming straight from Four and Three Sports Talk. Uh, moving on to NHL, Montreal over Winnipeg 5-1. Get the brooms ready because Montreal's getting ready to sweep them boys. That game will happen at some point tomorrow evening, I believe at 8 o'clock. Uh, Vegas beats Colorado for the second game in a row, 5-1. I'm a little pissed because I was heavy, heavy, heavy all regular season betting on Vegas. And the last two games, they kind of got shellacked, and I didn't touch them. Uh, the two games prior when they lost 7-1 and then 5-2. Uh, now, they happen to open up their own cannibal bass upon the Colorado Avalanche by a score of 5-1. to one. Series is tied 2-2. Game 5 will be tomorrow, and we will see if the Vegas Golden Knights will get the victory. To be honest with you, I'm going to have some paper on them tomorrow, and um, we'll see how that happens. <laughs> Moving on to the Major League Baseball. Baltimore 18, Cleveland 5. That was not a video game score. Miami 3, Pittsburgh 1. Philadelphia 12, Washington National 6. Again, not a base, not a, not a video game score. Uh, Houston 6, Toronto 3. I did touch the Houston Nationals in that game. <laughs> winner, winner, steak dinner. Atlanta 4, Dodgers 2. Milwaukee 2, Arizona 0. Chicago White Sox 3, Detroit Tigers zip. Minnesota 2, Kansas City 1. Cincinnati 8, St. Louis Cardinals 7. Tampa Bay beats the Texas Rangers 7-1. What a nice game for those Tampa Bay Rays. Colorado beats Oakland 3-1. Chicago Cubs beat San Francisco Giants 4-3. Seattle Mariners finally get a win after a trillion losses uh, over the Los Angeles Angels by a score of 9-5. And the nightcap, the Mets beat the San Diego Padres by a score of 6-2. Um, and actually, that wasn't a nightcap. In 10 innings, my Boston Red Sox beat the New York Yankees 6-5. What an awesome game. What a way to sweep the New York Yankees are in that series. I was real happy about that. And um, today, <laughs> we're living it up, us Red Sox fans. Um, all right, now we are on to NCAA Baseball. I butchered some of these names during the week. Not sure if we're going to do it here, but let's focus and get this done, huh? Uh, Maryland 2, Charlotte 1. Central Michigan 14, Connecticut 9. Southern Alabama 7, Miami University 2. University of Virginia beats South Carolina by a score of 3-2. Oregon State beats Texas Christian University, also known as TCU, by a score of 3-2. Fairfield over Arizona State University 
Liberty beats Duke 15 to 4. Southern Miss over Florida State University Seminoles 7 to 4. Georgia Tech 9, Indiana State 0, UCLA 12, UNC 2. Louisiana Tech beats Alabama 10 to 8. Uh, Nebraska over NGIT, NJIT 18-4, not a video game score. Some real deal shit right there. Uh, Oklahoma State 13. Um, DKSB 3, not sure what school that was. Sorry, butchered another name. UC Irving um, 18, North Dakota State University 3. LSU 9, Gonzaga 4. Southern Alabama and UCF was suspended due to inclement weather. It's always raining down there in Florida. Uh, Notre Dame 14, um, Central Michigan 2, Tennessee 3, Liberty 1. Um, Oregon State 5, Dallas Baptist 4, NC State 14, LT 7. Campbell be beats uh, Virginia Commonwealth University 19-10. to That game was tied up 10-10 for about eight innings. Great back-and-forth basketball. Virginia 8, Old Dominion 3. Southern Miss beats Old Miss 10-7. Texas Tech University beats UCLA by a score of 8-2. East, East Carolina University beats Maryland 9-6. Texas over Fairfield 12-2. Fairfield, sorry. Arizona 5, UCSB 2. Vanderbilt over Georgia 11-4. 11-14 over Georgia Tech, I'm sorry. Uh, Nebraska 5, Arkansas 3. UCLA 8, Stanford 4, and LSU 4, Oregon 1. There we go, everybody. This was episode 75 of 413 Sports Talk. I'm Raheem Mescalai. Today was June 7th, 2021. We turn that. I almost said it. Um, yes, this was episode 75 of 413 Sports Talk. I'm Raheem Mescalai. Please do not forget we're on YouTube. Um, give us a subscribe over there. And um, over here, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment. Um, if there's anything I got wrong here, a butchered name, a fact I missed, leave it in the comment section or message me, and we will adjust it as soon as possible. Thank you very much, everybody, for your continued support. If you've been liking it, watching it, uh, watching it for three seconds and then turning it off, hey, I appreciate your support. If you're um, looking at it and then talking about it with your friends behind my back, <laughs> I appreciate that, too. Um, just know I, I love everybody in the city and, um, I love being able to sit down with you guys and, um, talk sports and, you know, cause that's, that's how we come together when there's all kinds of bull crap and division. Um, doesn't matter what color you are, what religion you are, what you do with your private part or whatever your beliefs are. We come together as one under sports and that's what I love, and that's what I'm trying to do. Besides, we're putting all these beautiful student athletes on and getting them exposure and hopefully getting them the um, the chance they deserve as far as recruiting um, concerned. Um, I, I really wish that, and um, I hope it happens for every student athlete out here. Um, I will do my part on 413 Sports Talk to making sure that happens um, as well. Guys, another announcement really quickly. Western Mass Sports returns to the show tomorrow uh, morning when I give you episode 76. Sorry for the fact that it hasn't been in there. Um, it's not, not anything I can really speak on right now, but um, Western Mass Sports will be back tomorrow. Um, please don't forget to watch baseball tonight. Uh, watch some of that playoff basketball as well as that playoff hockey. I am Raheem Eskali with episode 75 of 43 Sports Talk. Please, for me, love love and hug and kiss your loved ones. And I wish you all nothing but the greatest success, wealth, health, and whatever good needs to come your way. I'm wishing to I'm wishing it for you from the bottom of my heart. Don't forget to tune into episode 76 tomorrow. My name is Raheem Escalai. I love you all and I hope you all have the greatest afternoon and evening possible. Thank you.